Today I'm going to show you how I inflate my paddleboard with the compressor. I bought a Sevilor 12 volt compressor, which has a 15 psi limit, so I can inflate my SUP from my car. Since I usually inflate the board to between 12 and 13 psi, a 15 psi limit is good for this application. The first thing I do is loosen the strap while keeping it looped just enough to remove it from the rolled up board. Keeping the strap looped makes it easier to tie the board up again later after you deflate it. Next, I fully unroll the board, which makes it easier to inflate it. So first I take my compressor and I place it onto my paddle board. And then I take the cord, which is about 15 feet long, and I unwind it and I plug the end of the cord into the 12 volt auxiliary power. I can set the pressure units to PSI with the button in the upper right corner. If you press the plus button, you can see the pressure limit I have set it for, which right now is 12.6 PSI. And now it's ready to go. Before you inflate, remove the valve cover and you make certain that the valve is in the upper position so that it can take the air, but it's not going to release the air when you release this tube. So you insert the tube into the compressor, and then you press the other end of the tube onto the valve and turn a quarter turn clockwise. Pressing and hooking the tube into the valve as you turn it. So now when I turn on my compressor, I press the on button. It takes under 10 minutes to inflate the board. I'm going to walk away and start preparing for going paddling. So now we're about three minutes into it. And you can see that the whole thing is, is inflated. Okay, so it stops inflating at 12.70 PSI, a little bit higher than my setting, so that a little air can escape when I remove the tube attached to the compressor from the valve. The entire board is inflated. It took about seven minutes, eight, maybe eight. Totally solid hard, ready for me to use. And here I'm going to just twist, one quarter twist, counterclockwise and pulling up on it at the same time, releases the compressor. And then I just close the valve cover and I unplug the compressor from my auxiliary power and I take my keys out of the car and put the compressor away and I'm ready to use my board.